Superstars, today you are going to love this video. We're gonna talk all about how your unconscious patterns and your unconscious habits have a huge impact on how your horse goes. So you're about to see me have a lesson with Alicia on a beautiful Grand Prix Schoolmaster. And I, if you know anything about me, maybe you haven't watched many videos about me, but I am impatient as, uh, insert swear words here. I am very impatient. I'm ready, like, let's go, let's go. Let's start doing dressage. And the first part of the session has to be walking on a loose rein so the muscles and ligaments and the horse, you know, can warm up. So you'll see in a couple of minutes, me struggle with that and me thinking we're not doing dressage, so I'm gonna tune off and think about chocolate cupcakes and nachos um, until we get to the fun stuff. You'll see how Alicia coaxes me into understanding how that won't ever get me to where I wanna go and how doing dressage and thinking and feeling about how the horse is going starts from the minute you swing your leg over. Well, actually, before that, but let's, let's go from there. Okay, cool. All right, Tashi, so when I came in before and you were a bit distracted and you were talking to me, um, you started to like turn his head a little left and a little right. Talk to me about, you said that that was sort of unconscious. You, were, you said your answer was, oh, I was talking to you, so I didn't, I didn't sort of wasn't paying, paying attention. Talk to me about why you think that's the go-to. What, what, talk to me about that. I, I, it's not a, str a strategy that it's like, it's not a go-to strategy when yeah. I'm focusing and concentrating on something else. I, yeah. I don't pay attention to, to riding. So what I think the most important thing to pull out of that though, is to remember that you're not paying attention. So then you're going to your subconscious. Yeah. And so, so then what does it mean that's still in there that we've got to get out of? So playing, even now, playing with their head, pulling their head in, turning it left and right, because that's what you're taught, isn't it? You're taught to make them softer, pull their head left, pull their head right, make them rounder in the front, you know. So that's this ingrained thing that's sitting there for you. So what you've what that should just give in your mind to go, oh, right. So I haven't got that out of my system yet. So then that helps you a little bit to go when you're struggling. Think, wait. What am I doing? Because you'll always go back to that subconscious. Does that make a bit of sense? Yeah. And remember, in a competition, um, that is what happens. Loads of things are going on. So you want to make sure that your basic is good still. So this is a good walk. You know, you understand with this guy, he doesn't have a lateral walk. You don't have an issue with that. So it's not such an issue. So when you're walking along, you can just relax a little bit like this. Leave him alone in the front a bit and think really on a buckle, because again, this is sort of all, yeah, that's better. Because what we're looking for here is not to warm him up in inverted commas. This is just to get his blood pumping and him moving along in his own way. And you know how when you were going along before, you were using your inside rein all the time because he was looking to the outside? Did I feel I was using my app, but like right now he feels like he's falling in and I mm -hmm. want to keep saying, hey, go over here. And why do you want to say go over there? Because I don't like feeling like that. It, it irritates me. Okay then. And it, who's this warm up for? Me, Alicia. <laughs> but that's okay. So that's fine. So you don't like him falling over here. So what does that tell you? Where's all his weight? On, on here. On his, no, on his inside legs. So yeah. if you've thought of all the full weight between his feet, he's gonna be like this, Tash, look at me. Yeah? Yeah. So what you're trying to do is leg yield him over, correct? Yeah. But at the moment, you're on what we call a trail ride, right? Because yeah. you don't have any connection, you don't have any contact. So what could you do that would use, so you could use TSMG here. So you don't want him to fall in, you want him to get his weight more on even legs. What could you do in a TSMG way, a pretend he's like a breaker that he's not able to do a leg yield? What could you do you to get him? So I 
trust you enjoyed that episode. <laughs> that ride was actually really hard for me to do and I'm gonna show you more of it next week. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss, miss next week's episode and make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it so I know what you thought. Let me know in the comments how you found that little bit of learning and next week we're gonna talk about how TSMG can help a horse that's falling in plus plenty more. And remember, if you wanna know more about the Dressage Institute, where you can get all your dressage questions answered and finally find your place in an amazing community that is guaranteed and set up to ensure your dressage success, click the link in the description to find out more. I'll see you next week.